How you doing guys, it's Travis Winfield here and with the Winfield Group Real Estate team and this week on the Winfield Weekly, we are kicking off a brand new series here and it is regarding uh, just highlighting a hometown veteran business of the month. And my very first one I had to pick here, I have my friends here, Casper and Nick. Uh, Nick being a Marine Corps veteran, right? That's right. So how long did you spend in the Marine Corps? Oh, just five years. Five years? Hey, man, look, yeah. that's all it takes, man. You, you, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you got it up, you did it, and then that's probably what we're going to talk about here, like how that works, right? Mm -hmm. But the big thing here is that so we're at the Old Town Barber in uh, right outside Old Town Temecula. And I tell you, this, I found this place. Cass, what did I find? I came started coming here a couple months ago, right? And, uh, you know, I... Anybody who's in the military should tell you that, you know, you got to find a good barber. And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I tell you that it's hard to find one that kind of does it all, that has the right mentality. And, and I've had know. my fair share of bad haircuts on base. That's, yes. That's yes. for sure. They're not haircuts, man. They're more a like good, a, a, good, a good barber butchers. is pretty important. You know what I mean? That, that's yeah. not barbers. That's butchers, man. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, <laughs> so what I want to take this time, guys, I just want to take a little minute to uh, highlight, guys, what is a little, what makes y'all different and, uh, you know, what what, does all, what kind of thing have y'all done? Because y'all obviously do very well here. You've expanded. Mm -hmm. So tell a little bit about your history, how long you've been here, and a little more about you guys. Well, we've been here three years. Okay. Yeah. Four years, March 1st. Okay. Yeah. And one of the things we just wanted to do was have, like, a family atmosphere because we're both family men. Right. We got together. He used to cut my hair. <laughs> because and vice versa. Yeah, we kind of vice versa at other shops. We didn't work together. Oh, wow. And yeah, we actually met at a, at a barbershop. At a barbershop. Yeah. <laughs> so we just started getting to talking and found out we had the same type of family values. We had daughters, kids. Wow. The dynamic was pretty, pretty uh, you could tell was similar. Something was happening. Yeah. Wow, pretty that's similar. awesome, man. Yeah. So but think, um, yeah. you know what, though? What makes us different, though, is like, one thing I, I know we talked about a lot in the beginning was we just wanted to create a space mm -hmm. that um, barbers enjoyed being barbers. Right. Like, because a lot, especially in this industry, so this is a military kind yeah. of background thing, right? Yeah. I mean, military teamwork is key. Yeah. You don't do anything without, you know, your, your partner and you having uh, some, some kind of camaraderie, something that links you, you know? And um, one thing that barbershops don't have is that. Most barbershops, maybe businesses, I don't know, but barbershops, um, they're very, um, they're very solo. You know, uh, most barbers kind of just work for themselves. Yeah. You know, we actually have a system here to share. Really. You don't find that in other in other businesses. Yeah. Other isn't it kind of like a dog eat dog. Yeah, like. it really is. Like, cause it's everybody working for themselves. Mm -hmm. Where here, <clears throat> kind of like in the military, we say, hey guys, if if we just do this together, we can all do a little bit mm -hmm. better each day. Well, I see. I, I know when I come here, I'll point out a couple of things. I, I when I was observing things when I first started coming here is one, yeah, y'all. I came here one day and y'all are like grilling out of like a like a tri tip or something right outside. Uh, y'all had That's Kevin, dude. Kevin likes his barbecues. Man, man. and then you had the y'all broke out the cornhole yeah. and y'all were playing cornhole. Yeah. yeah. And I, I got to tell you, and actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna show this theory right here. Seb, can you if you can go over here to this uh, refrigerator? You don't need to take the camera. Just take a, go over there to the refrigerator real quick and bring me something inside of that refrigerator around the corner. <laughs> uh, so what I love about this is not only do you make it a good place for your barbers, but you make it feel homey for everybody around here, right? Okay. Again, though, that's uh, another philosophy we had. Other barber shops you go to. You know, sometimes it's like maybe you're not cool enough. Right. People have tattoos. So or they. Uh, yeah. They got I look. Their hair so all look at cool. this. This is this is this you is know? what you get right here. Just you yeah. Have a, you have a fridge over there, and I love your sign by the way. It says it says one beer. One beer is cool. Yep. Oh, one's a must. Two's one's cool. Three. Don't be a fool. This is a barbershop, not a bar. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But real quick, back to what I was saying though. Yeah. We wanted to be welcoming to like an average mom, right? A kid or two. You know, to be, feel comfortable enough to walk in here and feel like this is a business she can just be herself with their kids, feel yeah. safe. Yeah. You know, that's important. Yeah. So that's one thing that it's intentional. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I think so. This is where I was going to go to before, and, and you're going to hear me talk about a lot. This, again, Casper, let me ask you this being a, a civilian and working now with a veteran. Right. 
Did you find that Nick could bring a little of kind of discipline and structure to the Ooh. business? Did did that have a little sense to this? Very much structure. And I, I know you know I have not asked you this oh, question it, before, have no, you? Have no, I? Yeah, <laughs> no, you haven't. Very much structure. This guy right here, he, you know, he knows how to keep things going along the line. And right. I'm the opposite. Sometimes I got I'm a little bit everywhere, but we, we feed off each other. So, but the structure is very good. With it's it. actually really good because those things feel good to me yeah right the structure the discipline you know making sure things are in order where i'm not good at sometimes being eccentric mm -hmm. outside of these walls right that's him all day you know what i mean right. i can i know that we can go somewhere i don't have to say anything you know what i mean because he's like he's just out there doing the 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 show piece right you know what i mean it's probably not, he probably resonated with what i wanted to do here right yeah. it's right up your alley isn't it, it is. yeah and I'm not so good with that. You know how it is, Mil yeah. military way. You got your job and you want it to work smooth yep. and you kind of are a little more mechanical mm -hmm. in your ideas. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, a, it's a good partnership that way. Well, you know, I say this all the time. Uh, some of the most successful businesses, you're going to find partnerships. And here's where, and I believe in this in, the same, in my own business. The most successful people in the world surround themselves by people that do great at what you suck at pretty much yeah. right <laughs> and like right now I have a business partner and she's my polar opposite right so she uh, she really feels the gap so I think this is awesome man just be able to find you guys and see what you're doing here and and being just I think you've really almost become a staple of the Temecula area right well we were very uh, lucky this town right here rallied around us mm -hmm. and they found out you know we found out right away that people like service and they like a good quality haircut, but at the same time, they want to be comfortable where they're at. Yep. And we can, you know, it, it, it's like what he just said, it was comfortable for people to come in yes. and enjoy themselves. Well, that's awesome, guys. Well, listen, thank you very much for uh, being my new barber. Thanks for all your service, man. <laughs> and uh, so again, guys, if you're thinking about need a haircut, you're in the area here, Old Town Barber down here in Old Town Temecula, you cannot get a better experience, I promise you. So come on out and check them out. So now I'm gonna cut your hair, right? Now, now he's gonna cut my hair. So I'll show you after <laughs> photo here soon. Like I would always say, don't I don't believe in cutting that gray or washing that gray out. I just want to cut the gray right out. So we're gonna do that right now. Take care. Talk to you next time. See ya. We are all done. This is the after. Look at these guys. They are rock stars, aren't they? So especially, so come on out, and give it a try. Yeah. I'm home.